Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a flashlight inside your app. So what do I mean by a flashlight? I mean like when usually when you turn on the camera, you have the ability to turn on the flash as well, right? So I'm going to show you how you can add that flashlight, you can say functionality inside your app. So by the end of this tutorial, you would have an app like, that looks like this. So you can see here right that right I'm showing you two devices. Uh, one is the emulator and the one is the physical device. The reason I did that is because I want to show you how the uh, what is the difference between devices which have the flash capability and the one that doesn't and how they both react. So all right, so let's get started and let's open up Android Studio. So here in Android Studio, I have these two files. I have the activity underscore main.xml file and I have the, the main activity.java file. The first thing that we need to do here is I need to add the, the switch view. So I just open up the activity underscore main.xml file and inside uh, the constraint layout, open up the palette and I'm just going to take this switch. I'm going to drag it inside this screen here and and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some constraint that's to the right to the left and to the top and to the bottom I want this to be in the center of the layout or the center of the screen let me just zoom in a bit let me, uh, let me just close this all right now it looks much better all right so if I did the constraint that surround the view. The next thing that we do is I'm going to change the ID from switch one. That will be uh, we call this switch flashlight flash flashlight. And for the label here, I'm going to rename this to uh, flash on. Okay, so that will be flash, flash on. Okay, that, sh that should be okay. Uh, don't worry if you can't see the, the on here, but it will appear later on in the, in the emulator as I've showed you earlier on. So we've added the ID, we've added title. So we're basically done with the layout. Let's head over the main activity of the Java file. And that's where we're going to start coding. Coding the view. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to declare the, the, the view and that is the switch. I'm going to call this uh, flash control. Flash control. And the second thing we need to do is we need to declare another one, another thing called the camera manager. So camera manager. So uh, the reason we we the reason we call the camera manager because that's the one. That's the one of the APIs that will allow us to uh, basically uh, control the flashlight. So we're going to call this camera manager. And inside the on create view here, um, I'm going to reference that con flash control based on its ID inside the layout file. So we'll do fan view by ID r dot id dot uh, flash switch flashlight, and then for the camera manager. We'll do a camera manager. Oops, that will be C A camera manager equals two. And here we're going to uh, from the camera manager we need to access the the camera service. So we'll do a get get system service, and that would be the camera service. And Android Studio is complaining here because we need to cast this. So you just hover your mouse over this line. And it says require the, the the Android hardware camera tool camera manager and what it found is the object a simple way to fix this is when you hover your mouse then we should have we should have okay we should have the uh, usually there will be a red bulb on the left side here that allows you to add the the missing uh, uh, missing cast but since we don't have that, for some reasons, I don't know why it doesn't show up now, but another way would be just, you can see here, it says cast to the uh, the camera manager, just click on that, 
and that's how it adds the the camera manager cast and the error is gone all right so if I did that the now the first thing that I need to do here is before you need to turn on the flash the first thing we need to check is if the device has a camera because if there's no camera then there's no flash and the app will crash if you uh, if you turn on the flash and the device doesn't have a camera a camera function right so the first thing is we check if there is a camera and to do that we'll do F and we'll call get package manager dot get uh, sorry get package manager dot has system feature so now we need to check if the device has a system feature uh, what is that feature that is the the camera uh, that should be, I think it should be all caps camera feature camera service camera okay feature camera any so if there is if the device has a camera then let's say here will will work work with the with flash if there is no camera we will simply show toast message and the contest will be main activity about this and the, for the toast message we will call, we will say this device has no camera and the length would be short and don't forget to show okay oops oh that should be okay so if they if there is if there's a camera then inside here that's where we're going to check if there's a flash capability now if there's no camera at all in that device we're going to show a toast message saying that this device has no camera simple as that okay so i'm going to remove this comment line and the second thing that we need to do is we need to check if uh, this device has a flash capability and that will be get package manager dot has system feature and from here we need to call feature uh, camera and camera flash that's the one so here we'll check if this if this device has a camera flash if there is then turn flash on now if there is no flash capability what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy this uh, this toast message and paste it here I'm going to say this device uh, this device has no flash this device has no flash okay so if there is then we will turn the flash on and I'll walk you through that later and if there is no flash show this simple toast message all right now if there is a flash and I think I missed something here okay it should be if you go back to the activity underscore main directional file inside this switch view here by default I need to disable that Android enabled and we'll call this false okay the reason why I want to disable it is because when the user launch the app uh, then the it will go through this condition if there is a camera if there's no camera then show a toast message if there is no flash then show this message now if there is a flash and that's here that's where we're going where that's where I'm going to enable the the switch so by default it's going to be false which is disabled as you can see here flash on and with a great color this indicates that this the this view is disabled we will enable it based on the uh, the condition here so if there is a flash then uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show a toast message as well and I'm going to enable I'm going to enable the, the switch I'm going to copy this this toast message I'm going to paste that here so this device has flash and I'm going to call flash control dot set enabled and we're going to initialize that with true so I'm going to enable this view 
All right. So now we're done with the initial checking. Now I assume that the the device has the flash has a camera and has the flash capability. So what I'm going to do is the next part we need to react to the to the user whenever they take action upon like turning on or off the switch and to and to react to these changes we will call flash control dot uh, set on checked set on checked change listener new you on change check listener so here uh, we're checking based on the status of the uh, of the uh, of the view so we do that based on here so if the if the flash control is checked if uh, is checked which means the user have already uh, turned on the uh, the flashlight what we're going to do here is we're going to call camera manager dot set torch mode and here basically it accepts two parameters the first one is the camera ID and the second one the second thing would be the the boolean value and that basically indicates whether uh, which means it's turn on or off uh, sorry true or false and that's how you turn on or off the, the the flash for that device so for the camera ID now let me explain this to you guys a bit so for the camera ID the device basically if let's say it has two cameras then it will uh, it will have different IDs and to check for example how many IDs are there in the device a simple way to do that I'm going to show you what you can do something like this so do camera camera manager dot get camera list sorry get camera ID list so what this does is you can see here based on the description it says that we turn the list of currently connected camera devices so if the if your device has two cameras then it will return uh, number two so currently in my physical device it has two cameras it has a front camera and a back camera so the the return number would be two which means two cameras so for if we go back to the set torch mode here, the first parameter would be the ID for uh, for that camera, and the back camera, the ID of the back camera would be set as zero, while the the front camera will be set as one. Uh, I'm not setting that. That's how it is set, I guess, by the manufacturer or by uh, I guess you can see by the manufacturer. I mean, like, this is not done by us, and for the set torch because the flash is actually on the back of the device usually it is at the back of the of the camera so uh, the ID would be set as zero and okay that's uh, it should be surrounded by codes because that's a string and for the second value here because we need to uh, turn the, uh, the, uh, the flash off since it is stacked right which means it is on so we call it as false and then we need to change the label of the switch from flash on because here it says flash on we call it flash off and flash flash control dot set enabled so it's set text uh, set text so if the if it's enabled it's false okay this should be uh, flash on because it's false and we can we change the label to on if it's on we change the label to false and you will see that in when I want it in the emulator okay so for the camera manager here it says set torch mode you can see that Android Studio is complaining, showing these uh, uh, error lines. And the, if you hover your mouse over this, it says that I handle exception. So you need to handle this uh, uh, this line here, this set uh, touch mode. So what you can do here is just hover your mouse, and 
you can see this uh, this line here it says surround with try catch just click on that and Android Studio will automatically uh, surround that statement with a try and catch so camera does set torch mode we're setting the back of the camera which has the flash we call, we call it as false because we need to turn it off alright now if that's off now if it's on the only difference that we're going to do here is just change the the boolean value and the uh, the text on the flash control so for simplicity I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna paste that inside here and the camera ID will be the same thing because we're targeting the back of the camera that's where it has the flash uh, capability and for the the uh, for the boolean value that will be true and for the label that will be off all right let me just reformat the code so it looks much clearer so this is basically for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and happy coding